USWC do today one. Uh, I'm standing here with a million dollar child. Yes. Puppy from Navi. How does it feel? I feel great. Okay. Uh, you said you've been here for three days. What have you been doing? Since you haven't played anything? Uh, we've been watching our other group of Dota 2 and we've just uh, been hanging around with our Narvi CS players. So, have you seen any of the games actually from the other group? Yes. Uh, what, what do you think? Are there any upsets? Are there... there are a lot of upsets. E Home has lost two games already and uh, I feel pretty good <laughs> myself. Alright. Have you seen anything special in terms of strategies or, you know, something weird coming out from those teams that beat uh, EO or...? Mm, absolutely not. Seems like it's uh, gonna be the same strategies as played as in Gamescom. Alright. Almost. Okay. So, you won last time and you won one million dollars. Do you feel you can do the same this time again or do you feel... Did you, were you lucky, or is, was it your day, or do you think you, you're one of the absolute favorites here? Uh, I don't think that we are absolute favorites here, because we have uh, roster changes going on after the tournament in Gamescom. But overall, I would say that we should get to top two for sure. Not saying that we are the favorites, but for sure I really want to get the top first place. Uh, the international, the one million dollar tournament, uh, coming into the tournament and after the tournament, what changed? Uh, in terms of our team? Uh, in terms of your life, in terms of how you treat Dota, in, in terms of your team? I think uh, nothing has really changed. I still play the game for its uh, competitiveness. I don't play it for the money. It's but it's a nice plus to have a million dollars, you know? Everybody knows that. Tell us something crazy that someone in your team has bought. Crazy? Ah, something interesting that maybe not every Dota player is buying. There is none. Everybody's buying casual stuff like uh, an apartment or a car. <laughs> That's basically it. Or investing it, you know? Nothing interesting at all. Ah, cool. I, I was kind of wondering, uh, a lot of tournaments still use Dota 1. Uh, I can't quite can't remember which one, but they announced that they will be going back to Dota 1 now. WDC. Yeah, right. Tournament. So, what are you practicing mostly? Or are you switching back and forth? Or are you just going to focus on the Dota 2 tournaments now? Or how do you feel about going back to the original game once in a while? Or it might have been SMF. Uh, you know, going from Dota 1 to Dota 2 is like completely hard. You just start messing up all the time. It takes a lot of practice to get to your position and stuff. So, I mean, I really don't want to play Dota 1 anymore. It's it's really hard to go back and go forth and go back and go forth until you know that you're going to play, be playing Dota 2 anyway, later. It's so, just these tournaments. So, so are you confident that Dota 2 will be like a real big esports title? Uh, I am. I am. Is there anything <laughs> that you could mention right now that's like really wrong with the game or you know that's still missing that that was Dota 1, you know? Except for the heroes, of course. You know, I can't really put my finger on things because uh, Dota 2 has a lot of different type of... Uh, it's a different type of game. But I don't know if it's better or good, you know? I've been playing Dota for like a long time. I've loved everything Blizzard has made. But I don't know which is better since something is more different. It just can't be like, you can't say like it's worse just because it's different. I have to try it out for another year. Maybe then I'll notice if it's better or worse. Have you seen anything about Blizzard's Dota? They presented it uh, this weekend. Uh, and what are your thoughts about that? Uh, I actually felt that it was pretty okay for a fun map, but I wouldn't suggest going uh, too competitive into, in that game. It might happen actually that it will be even stronger than anything else, but hell no. Alright. Um, so I was wondering about, about the heroes, there's still a lot missing. Yeah. Do you feel that any hero particularly is missing for your team, something that you utilize a lot from uh, Dodom? No, not really. I, I think uh, the, all, all the greatest teams always adapt to anything. 
So I would say that we are one of those teams, and a lot of Chinese teams are, and I don't think Europeans have caught into those adapting rules yet. But we are trying to be on the same level as the Chinese, for sure. So, uh, talking about Chinese, there's a lot, there are a lot of Chinese teams missing. Uh, it's just E-Home, and then there's Singaporean Malaysian team. Uh, what do you think about ESWC and, and the participants? Are you do you, are you satisfied with the amount of teams that showed up and everything like that? Uh, for Dota 2, I would say that the teams with no Chinese, I mean, like uh, so, if there are no, so if there are no Chinese teams, it's like uh, we have seen that the Chinese fall under Europeans in Dota 2 or vice versa, so it doesn't really matter which team is coming, it doesn't matter, just a team comes. Chinese, not Chinese, it's all the same stuff in Dota 2. Uh, about the Navi organization, uh, uh, do you like it there and did it change anything when you won so much money? I mean, uh, the Counter-Strike team has been enormous 2010, but still you earn more money over a weekend. Well, I don't think we've become that strong in Navi or stronger than Navi CS because it's just only one tournament. Navi CS has won lots of lots of tournaments and they've shown lots of lots of time that they can win. We still have that to like show to people. Uh, are there any plans now in the common like one to three months that you will start? Are you streaming anything within the team yet? Uh, we have only one player that streams right now. Okay. But are you planning to do more for the community? I mean, the yes, Navi yes, as organization yes. is used, but also I know Dota in Ukraine and the, the whole Russian part of the world is, is a strong game. Uh, are you planning to do more stuff for your fans and community? Yeah, I'm already, I already opened a Chinese blog. I already op I'm trying to open a stream very soon. Uh, so, like, in time. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you have anything else? I'm kind of satisfied. Yeah. For, for this tournament, uh, who except you and uh, eHome do you see as the strongest team? Monkey Business. It's monkey Business. Yeah. Uh, have they been as strong in Dota 1? It seems like they are uh, like getting in shape now. Well, I think uh, they got the rhythm through Dota 2. It came out and they really wanted to win Gamescom. And it bonded themselves together a little bit, so yeah. they started working out the problems, made some roster changes and then started, you know, trying hard and they're trying really hard right now. Normally in the team it's always the carrier gets the most attention and it's like the superstar, but in Navi it seems uh, it's kind of obvious that you are as a supporter the, the superstar or the, the one. What makes you different is it only that you like to do interviews or that you are like kind of vocal or is it something with your playstyle that is different? I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's uh, it's all very confusing, and uh, I got real. I got no real answer. Uh, who, who is the team leader in your? In are you the team leader? I'm the team leader. Is that normal for su uh, supporters? And, and do you think that yes. it's good? It's okay. It's actually the best way. It's the best way. It's well, can't say it was the best or whatever. There have been many captains who played. It's not like I can't play carry, but it's uh, just. Proven fact that with support heroes you can see more, more stuff going on on the map, so you can captain better. Do you think like a, a mobile game or to Dota in particular is extremely hard to keep a, a team together because it uh, seems to be extremely intense and you can have a lot of different opinions at the same time, so it's easy to get the conflict. Do you think it's harder than like Counter Strike, for example, to to stay together? Yes, I think so. That is harder. Counter Strike because uh, I don't know. It seems like uh, Counter Strike is more mature anyway overall than Dota itself. Because in Dota you cannot say like I shoot the best, but everybody knows who shoots the best in Counter Strike. Or there are like the top five players who shoot the best. Everybody knows that, but you just can't prove it in Dota. Anybody can be the best. Within your team, when you are in a, a tense moment, like the crucial part of the game. Is it the way that you say something and everybody follows, or do you do you have time to actually discuss things on fly? On crucial moments. Yeah. If they are in split second, then the captain has uh, 
has only one word. It's either back or go, you know. And the other teammates must know and realize what they must do. Yeah. When you're setting up for, for example, for a, for a gang, do you call it gang? No, you don't. Yeah, we call it. Uh, you call it gang. Uh, how much do, information do you set up as a team leader? Do you like, okay, in five seconds, in ten seconds, or go here, go there? How do you set up like a crucial attack or a, a trap? The mostly cru crucial attacks uh, from the leader. The words come through who to focus, not when the gang, but who to focus. Like. Okay. You, you use that spell here and you use that spell to him and you, you do that. That's mostly what the captain does. Everybody knows that you have to move forward. Yeah. So I have to move forward, forward, <laughs> man, forward. No, you just tell him to silence him and stun him and we kill them and stuff. That's what the leader does. Cool. Do you need any more questions? Uh, just for the newer players to do to Dota 2, uh, what's the best way to practice in your opinion? What's the best way to practice? Create a team. And start playing like a team. It's a big difference than like the normal. Uh, it's called public games, what you can well, say. Yeah. In public games, you don't know if you're making a mistake. But if you're playing against good players and they, demo they demolish you, you also kind of don't realize what you did wrong. But you can learn something from the enemy. When you play publics, you can win thousand games in a row, and you thought you did everything right. Yeah. When you play against the team and you lose one game and you lose, you lost the important game. And one thousand reasons. About ESWC, uh, what, what do you think of the actually venue and the tournament itself? You haven't played yet, but uh, do you like it? Is this one of the, the better tournaments that you've been to? Well, let me think. It's okay. Well, it's I okay. have nothing to say. You know, it's nothing bad, nothing like great. It's just you know, a land. I like lands. I can't say anything bad about land tournaments. Where I want to be. Cool. <laughs> Do you have any final words or shout outs? Uh, shout out to my fans and Navi. Thank you. Good luck in the tournament. Thank you.